Hi guys, Momo here. <laughs> um, so hey, I am new to this channel, and this will be my first let's play over here. Um, uh, I was originally a Strawberry Vaporeon, um, a Pokemon channel, but I decided to um, abandon that, <laughs> and uh, now I'm doing let's plays over here. Um, I do have a my own channel, but uh, I will mainly make it a an art focused channel so I won't be doing let's plays. So I thought I would have uh, this channel as an outlet um, to play some of my favorite games. And uh, I thought the best way to start off uh, would be to play one of my all time favorites. Um, this is uh, another code, Two Memories. Um, it's also known as Trace Memory in America. Um, but I have the European version, and now it starts the intro again. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna jump straight into this. It's a very short game. Um, I, I think I managed to get through this in five hours, but I know it can be done in like three or four hours. So it's it's not gonna be like the world's longest let's play, but I thought it would be a, a good start. Um, I'm not playing this on an emulator. Uh, I'm playing this on the, my capture card um, 3DS. So uh, there will be slight audio uh, like glitches, but um, it's not something that is going to ruin the experience. Um, yeah, uh, without any further ado, let me jump straight into a new game. And it's been very long since I played this the last time. It was the day before my 14th birthday. I wasn't feeling so good. That morning, I was on a small boat headed towards Blood Edward Island. The sea was very calm, but my heart was a storm of emotions. I felt upset and happy, excited and confused. I'd never felt that way before. Of course, this was because I had just found out that my dad is still alive. Wait, start up. Starting recognition process. Please touch the center of this, uh, the ring with your index finger. Reading complete. Username Ashley Mitsuki Robbins. Birthday first first. Huh. Uh, dear Ashley, I will be waiting for you here on Blood Edward Island. I want to spend the 14th birthday with you. Your father, Richard. Duel another system start. Daddy. Ashley. <laughs> it feels kind of awkward uh, narrating this. <laughs> it's a very quiet game. That's the island. Yup, that's it. <laughs> don't know what your business here is, but I don't envy you. No one's come to this place for a long, long time. J 
Just days before my 14th birthday, I received a package. Inside it, there was a letter from my father, who I thought had died when I was three years old. There was also a small machine. I am now head heading to the location he gave me in the letter. Blood Edward Island. He will be waiting for me. Chapter 1. The meeting with D. So actually in this game you can do everything with the stylus. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty neat. This game, uh, I think it was one of the launch titles to the DS. I'm not completely sure. Um, but the machine she has in this game is uh, the very first Nintendo DS. Um, and it utilizes a lot of the DS uh, special features. So. Um, gonna talk to her. Jessica, there you are. Oh, Ashley, you're awake. Yeah. I must have fallen asleep. Yes. Are you feeling alright? Hmm. Oh, Ashley. It was a. Uh, it was that dream again, wasn't it? Yeah. Just put it out of your, uh, put it out of your mind. It's not real. Just a bad dream. No one remembers things that happened to them at such a young age, you know. Don't torture yourself. Just let it go. Jessica is Dad's little sister, and his only living family. She teaches chemistry at a college, and she basically raised me. She's a nice lady, warm-hearted. Ah, warm-hearted. She's always been there for me. But I can't even look at her right now. I can't believe that for all these years, she knew that Dad was alive, and she didn't tell me. Ashley? Yeah? We're just about there. I can see Blood Edward Island. Your father is waiting for you. There. I'm sure he can't wait to see you. Um, I, I, I have to figure out if I can <laughs> just to take speed because it's very slow. My dad. Okay, let me return. Um, if I don't remember wrong... No, I can't remember what the... Or maybe I haven't gotten access to the dust yet. But I think there's a setting where I can adjust the text speed because it's very slow. <laughs> what is it, Ashley? Okay, that is alive. Why did you let me believe that that was dead? Why? Why did you lie, lie to me for all these years? I had to. I made a promise to your father. Promise? What kind of promise? I suppose I can tell you now. It happened 11 years ago. He just turned up on my doorstep one day with you in his arms. You had just turned three. I still remember how you looked that day. So very small. Hmm. It had been a while since I'd seen uh, <laughs> since I'd last seen him. He looked tired and agitated. He just said, "Don't question me on this. I'll come back for her someday." 
Until then, take good care of her. And under no circumstances can you tell her that I'm a lie. But why? Why did he say that? I have no idea. All I could sense was that something terrible was happening. Or had happened. Hmm. So at his request, I took you under my wing. Without a word. To tell you the truth, I was too scared to ask any questions. I didn't want to learn anything that could have put us in danger. And now, Richard has, Richard has kept his promise by contacting you. I'm so uh, I'm sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you about your father, but I made a promise. About my dad. Can you tell me about him now? He's an excellent scientist. A scientist? I'm sure that small machine he sent you is one of his creations. What was he researching? Memories. Memories? He worked for a research lab specialized in that field. It was there he met a beautiful accomplished Japanese scientist. Her name was Sayako. She was your mother. Uh, about the small machine. This gadget that dad sent me. The plate on the front says does. Does that mean anything to you? Does? I wonder what that means. It has a camera icon on it too. Is that right? Oh, I think I just took your picture. Ha! Huh. Let's see, how can I see it? Ashley. Oh, yeah, like this. Ashley, listen to me. About the dust. What is it? You're the only person who can use it. What do you mean? Your fingerprint is registered on the dust. It registers. Regist registered my fingerprint. How? It's all based on biometrics. Biometrics? It's a system that reads human physical characteristics and cross checks them with previously registered data. Yet, DAS has this installed. Therefore, no one else can use your machine. Only you. That's kind of neat. It's a pretty advanced feature. Richard must have had something very important to say to you. He sent you the dust to make sure that you that you alone could exit it. Access it. Oh? My mom? Jessica! Could you also tell me something about my mom? Well, I don't know where to start. I didn't know her uh, very well. Sayako was a brilliant scientist, very strong-willed. And she had these beautiful dark eyes. You definitely have her eyes, Ashley. No, you know what I mean. I want to know what happened to her. Is she alive? I... I don't know. Please, Jessica. Just tell me the truth for once. I'm sorry. No matter what, I'll still come. I promise I won't get mad. I just want to know about mom. Oh, Ashley. You told me she died when I was free as well. She's still alive, isn't she? I bet she is on that island with that. Tell me, Jessica. Calm down, Ashley. When we arrive, speak to your father. 
when you see him, I'm sure he'll explain everything. Jessica. Land ho. <laughs> the captain has stuck the boat. We are we are moored alongside uh, alongside a small pier. I don't see that anywhere. Where could it be? As a matter of fact, I can't see anybody around here at all. Don't you ladies have anyone to come get you? I'm sorry to say, I can't stay here with you. No chance. I gotta leave before nightfall. No matter how much you pay me. This is where he said to meet him, right? Why isn't he here? Hmm. Very strange. He must be waiting for us somewhere else. Come on, Ashley. Let's go and have a look for him. You go. I'm staying here. Don't be difficult, Ashley. I'm not being difficult. I waited all this time and traveled all this way to meet him. And he can't even come and meet me. Alright, Ashley. You wait here. I'll go look for him. If I don't find him nearby, I'll be right back. Don't wander off, okay? Jessica. Ah! <laughs> Kid, maybe you should stay here. Didn't she tell you to wait here? God, God damn it. Let's, uh, let's check the, the dust. We have some uh, safe things. All right, let's just save all of this. Yuk And we have a film roll, so it doesn't seem like we can actually adjust the text read. <laughs> I thought we could. So this is Jessica. Okay. So, um, um let's just go back. Right, okay, let's talk to the captain, dude. Uh. <laughs> let's take a picture of him. Okay. Why the long face, kid? You look really down. I'm fine. Is she your mother? No. Stepmother? No. She's my aunt. My dad's sister. But she's the one who raised me, so she's like a mother, I guess. See, Dad left me left me with Jessica when I was just a little kid and... Hey, 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 kid. Calm down. I don't need to know all the details. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. Anyway, whoever this lady is to you... You don't look pretty sad she's gone. She is fine. She's coming right back. No problem. Okay. Then you won't mind if I wait for her with you. Hmm. I guess I am a little worried about Jessica. It's all Dad's fault. He should have come. Hey, kid. Yeah? We could always just talk to pass the time. Okay, I guess. Can I ask you some questions about yourself and this island? Go ahead. If they ain't too complicated, mind. No problem. Okay, let's uh... The captain. When did you become captain? Way before you were born. Wow, that's a long time. Yup. Did you want to be a captain ever since you were a little boy? Well, what do you think? Possibly you wanted to be something else? Perhaps 
my memory ain't as good as it was. It has been a long time. Mm. When people grow up, do they all forget about the past? Maybe. I reckon some do. Mm. But don't worry, kid. People only forget what they want to forget. What if you want to remember? Just keep repeating it in your head. You won't forget. I see. By the way, do you come to this island often? No, this is my only my second time. Not many people want to come uh, want to come here, you see. I sure don't. The last time I came out here was a good while back. I was accompanied by a tall blonde fellow. What? A tall blonde man? When... What was his name? Why? What's it to you? That man... He could have been my dad. Your dad, huh? Yes, so did you... Sorry, kid. I'm not allowed to give information out about any of my customers. It's strictly confidential. Oh. Okay. Blood Edward Island. This island is pretty much empty, isn't it? Yep. Was it always this way? Or did people ever live here? You're a cur curious one, aren't you? I guess so, I suppose. Well, before my old father died, he once told me that this island used to be owned by a rich family, the Edwards. But then the master took sick and bad things started to happen. What kind of bad things? One by one, the family members started to die. What do you mean, they started to die? How did they die? To be honest, I'm not sure. That has never really been made clear. Maybe there was an accident. Hey kid, how old are you? 13. I'll be 14 tomorrow. Well, that's still too young to be filling your head with grisly ideas. You shouldn't go thinking about death at your age. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, after all that, the rest of the family left the island. Since then, no one really lived here. Folks dubbed the island Blood Edward Island. The name stuck ever since. I see. By the way, what's your father doing on this island? About that. I don't know what he's doing here. I guess I'll find out soon. I see. So who is your father? What does he do? Jessica told me he's a scientist. A scientist, huh? Sounds like he must be pretty smart. I guess I don't really know him. You're a bright young lady. You must take after him. Yeah? Yes, very in inquis inqui <laughs> inquisitive. Inquisitive. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'd say. So be careful, okay? What do you mean by that? Don't think that there has to uh, has to be any logical explanation for everything. Ah, yes, sir. Hmm, your aunt is taking a while, isn't she? Yes, I'm getting a bit worried. I'll go look for her. No, please, I'll go. You sure now, Missy? I'm sure. 
She must have found that. They must have lost, <laughs> they must have lost track of time talking somewhere. I'll go and find them. Okay. Here, take these with you. I got sweets from the captain. Thanks, I love sweets. Don't tell me. Don't tell your aunt. Gotcha. Be careful, kid. I will. Alright, okay, so I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, <laughs> and in the next episode we were, we are going to find Jessica and see what happens. So, I have been Momo and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Which is probably the series, so. <laughs> so, until next time, stay happy.